Hello everyone. On this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your Visual Studio projects to IIS. So let's get started. So to get started, I'm actually just going to create a basic uh, web API and I'm going to publish it, the, the web API into IIS. If you guys haven't seen yet, uh, but I'll drop a link below. I've created a video where it shows you how to install IIS to Windows 10. All right, let's get started. So let's go ahead and create a new project. ASP.NET web application. Yeah, yeah. that's good. All right, uh, test, publish, IIS. Let's go ahead and create. You can be a web API. It's, it's simple, easy, and quick, right? All right, so it looks like the project is up and running. Let's go ahead and run it, make sure it works. Okay, so it is running right now. Our web API is up and running, all right? Let's go ahead and close it. Go ahead and open IS. You know, just go to start. If you haven't installed on your computer or your server, go ahead and start. Type IIS, and it's going to be Internet Information Services Manager. I already have it open here. This is what it looks like. So, so for some of you guys that are not sure what IS does, pretty much it hosts um, your web pages. This is where you put your web pages on a server so we can access them from outside. IIS comes with a default website. You can actually right click on it, manage your website and click browse. And this is what's gonna open up, right? Uh, Internet information service. This is the main page for IIS. All right, let's go ahead and click on uh, create a new website. So I'm gonna create, I'm gonna click add site, name of the site, test site. Physical path, I have to create a path. All right, let's go ahead and create a path here on my D drive. I'm gonna create a folder that says sites, okay? And in sites, I'll create a new folder called test site. Go ahead and click okay. And let's assign a port 80, let's see here, 8565. That's the port number for my test site, okay? Let's go ahead and click OK. Now, my test site has the basic functionality, right? So if I go to, if I right click my test site, click Manage Website, click Browse, I'm just going to hit, oops, it's right here. All right, give it a second. Here. Oh, of course, there's no, so, I, all right, so let's see, all right, so let's go back and uh, instead of instead of running the test site right away, let's go ahead and right click on, on it, click Explore. Add a new item, uh, add a text file, put index.html. Yes, you can actually edit. Now nah, you don't have to edit, right? Now let's go ahead and right click the test site, manage website and browse. So now I should be hitting, you see how now there's no errors, right? So this is up and running. Let's go, let's go ahead and push it. Let's put publish it, publish the web API. So go ahead and open up your project. Right click on your web API and click publish. It's going to ask you for a path. You can just do a folder. I'm going to browse and then it's going to be on my uh, this computer, uh, D volume sites and test sites. Let's go ahead and that's what that is. That's where my publishing path is, go ahead and finish and hit public. Oh, uh, delete existing. Yeah, you wanna make sure you set these up. Configuration, you wanna set to release. You wanna delete all existing priority pri prior files pri prior to publishing. Go ahead and click save and go ahead and publish. All right, right now it's currently publishing, so it should be published. So let's open the D file. Yeah, so I'm right here. This is what this looks like. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and right click the test site. Go to manage site and click browse. And as you guys see, our API is up and running. So this is a quick example. We, we could have, you know, like, let's do with the MVC. I think with that MVC project, it's gonna be pretty similar. Okay. 
let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, open Visual Studio, create a new project. I'm just gonna show you guys one more time. Create a new project next. IS test two. All right, let's go to MVC project, which is gonna look the same. It's just that some some configuration configurations are different, but everything else is basically the same the same thing. So yeah. This one has a home. Yeah, it's at it's, 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 it's actually going to be the same thing. As you guys can see here, I'm running it right now, the project. Yeah, it's going to look exactly the same. So we're going to do the same steps for MVC and for web, web API. But on this one, let's go ahead and click another, another test site. Test site two. Let's go ahead and click, uh, pick a physical path, sites. Uh, add, oh, new folder, test site two. Go ahead and click OK. Let's 8045 or 8345. There you go. That worked. All right. So now that we have test, uh, now that we have test two site, let's go ahead and explore. So we see where the, the publish folder is. Now go back to Visual Studio. Right click on your test, uh, your MVC project, click publish, select a folder. You can paste it there, I already know what the, the URL is. Click finish and go ahead and publish. Okay, so it's done. Open up IIS again, right click on your test site. You click manage site and click browse. And looks like you are good to go. Now, just be uh, just so just kind of briefly explaining here. So whenever we enter that port number, the port number is what's going to give you the access to localhost. So you can really just you don't have to go through IS to open it up. You can just open a like another a new tab in Google Chrome. Just type the address and hit enter, and you're going to hit your API or your MVC or your app project in general. All right, guys, that was it for today. Thanks very much. If you have any comments? Questions, just drop on the comments below. Thank you.